This is King Tut's golden coffin being opened for the first time in over 3,000 years. For many years, historians have debated what actually killed the boy king. Tossed around were murder, disease, accident, among others. This included a speculative theory that he fell from his chariot. Howard and his team took almost eight years removing and cataloging all the items from the tomb, which were almost 6,000 in total. Of the items, one of the most striking finds was the almost 130 walking canes inside. About 10 years ago, scientists conducted what they called a virtual autopsy. They used more than 2,000 computer scans of Tut's coffin. They did a genetic analysis of Tut's family, which is one of the most royal houses of ancient Egypt. What they found was not a pretty picture. He ruled from the time he was 9 to 19, and he was most likely sick for the entire decade. He had buck teeth, a pronounced overbite, and a clubbed foot. With his clubbed foot, he was most likely unable to stand unaided, hence the need for the walking canes. And it's an awkward subject, but his physical state most likely the result of years of inbreeding within his family. That genetic analysis revealed that his mother and father were both brother and sister. 